Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to our web application pen testing series. So today we are in uh, challenge number 18 which falls under the stage 2 which is the intermediate category. That attack is quite possible here, right? To do that, there are again multiple techniques in which I can do that, right? Number 1, let me do it manually and then I will also show you how it can be done automated, right? Now I say JavaScript colon alert document.cookie. When I say JavaScript colon alert document.cookie and say enter, it pops up a message box. It says this admin state is equal to false, right? This is pop up. So I am saying JavaScript colon alert document.cookie pop, popping up, right? Now what I do, I copy this data, right? Okay. I open notepad, here I say java script colon void document dot cookie equal to double quotes, I will remove all this not required, I will just say true. What am I trying to do here is very very simple. I am just trying to convert this value from false to true, that is it, right. Let me do that, Java script colon void ok, I am saying javascript colon void. What does javascript colon void mean? See javascript colon alert means popping up, alert box. Right? What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a client side scripting language that your browser understands. Right? Now what I am doing is JavaScript colon alert, meaning I am using an inline JavaScript. Instead of putting a script tag, open tag, close tag, I am saying JavaScript colon alert directly on the URL bar of the application or the browser to pop up a alert box saying document.cookie. Right? JavaScript colon alert document.cookie. That is it. I say enter. It pops up a a pop-up box, alert box with the cookie value stored in it, right? With the cookie value stored in it and in the cookie value we saw unauthenticated cookie value, right? It said the admin underscore state is equal to false. Now I am trying to use JavaScript colon void which means I am altering or editing or injecting the cookie value saying admin underscore state is equal to true. Let us say enter, okay? I have injected it. Now let me say enter, let us see what happens. Wow, wow, <laughs> see how beautiful is it, see this is likely the password because passwords were made in this, right, so I go here, say this and say enter, beautiful, I have successfully cleared this challenge, right, and also please be mindful, in this particular challenge, there is a Google Chrome extension called cookie editor or edit this cookie etc, which you can use, directly you can go click on it, upon clicking on it, you can see this kind of a detail where admin underscore status equal to false is set, right? You can directly say true. Okay, I will just refresh this page. Now see, I am setting, it says sorry try again. Now I am going to say this as true and I am going to save this. Let us see what happens. Now I say enter, let us see, beautiful. So this. We use a third party tool to do that, right? They did this cookie or cookie editors to do it. But on the previous example, I said JavaScript colon void, meaning directly injecting it manually without the use of these kind of third party utilities, right? So in this particular challenge, he successfully cleared this challenge. But yeah, in, to quickly summarize, in this particular challenge, we actually understood what is JavaScript, what is uh, JavaScript colon alert, inline JavaScript. Obviously, it's a client side uh, scripting language, we understood that. And we also understand what is a JavaScript injection. This is exactly what JavaScript injection means, right? And uh, we try to tamper a parameter called admin underscore status equal to false to true. So that this application is not validating it with any token or anything. It is paving way for you to gain access to the application as an admin of the application, right? And let me tell you out of my experience, there are dozens of websites on the internet today that have the same issue. Right? It says admin status equal to false, admin under equal to false, uh, moderator equal to false. All you have to do is just 
say equal to true that's it you don't need to even create an application i mean user account uh, subscribe to a particular uh, uh, tariff and then they upgrade you to that user group not even required right this kind of bug still exist in owasp they call this as a broken authentication vulnerability or uh, access control vulnerability as well right so i hope you all learned something from this we definitely learned what is javascript alert which is popping up we also learned javascript editing using void and obviously it's a javascript injection attack right so i hope you all had something to learn from this in case you did consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity